All right, here's a triple jump drill. So I'm actually at a supermarket or grocery store. I got a shopping cart, and this is what I call the shopping cart drill to help me bound and work on my triple jump. So basically all I'm trying to do is use uh, assistance to help put minimal amount of force in the ground and help support myself while staying up. So when thinking about bounding, right, we want to come out and we want to be able to place our ground contacts under us and propel ourselves forward, but a lot of times we don't have the strength or understand the timing. So what we can do is we can use a shopping cart and we can just kind of give ourselves a little bit of assistance and work on kind of this gradual bounding. We give ourselves some more space and we can just give ourselves that assistance and we just do this. All right, so it's almost like we're running. Then we can allow ourselves to work on a little bit more of a gradual here and really coming down, trying to keep our body upright under us. So now we're just kind of working on that delayed, long, just, I almost ran in that car. So always watch your surroundings, but here, like long, and then creating a scissor action. So I'm here, and then I'm trying to basically scissor from right here together. So here, boom, low heel recovery, almost as if I'm gonna drag the bottom of my foot on. And I have a whole video about um, the toe drag. How that used to be a, uh, a legal um, move, and they actually used to ban the act of dragging your heel or your toe on the floor. It's not a ban anymore. But, so we can work on, I'm gonna do this again, I'll come over here. I can turn it around. And we can once again, work on just giving ourselves some support. All right, so I'm actually dragging my feet on the ground on that forward movement. And you can probably hear the, squir the scraping. And some other things we can do is working on the um, single leg portion. So we're just kind of supporting ourselves, keeping ourselves upright. And we can work on that coming out going. So we can work on getting ourselves upright. Just working on. And then you can start working on the actual cycle, getting that leg that's not making ground contact straight. So I'm gonna go. All right. I'll do it again going this way so you can see a better angle of it. Always make sure that you have an environment that is safe. So you can tell there's not really any cars over here. Besides that one, I'm in an area. It's way away, you can turn around, you can see, like see it's a real busy that way. Right, but I found an area that no cars go by. Um, it's best if you have a shopping cart that you can actually do this with um, and you can do it at the track or if you have some kind of thing that has wheels you can use it to support yourself but if you don't you got a shopping cart you can do track or when you're at a grocery store you can do track and field anywhere so oh it's an errand exercise yeah that is the shopping cart drill so next time you're at your local grocery store Go check that out. Have a good one.